Hey guys, it's Nikki Jabor, and today I'm going to show you how to grow potatoes in containers. You might wonder, why would I want to grow potatoes in containers? Don't they grow best in gardens? Well, of course they grow fine in gardens, but if you're short on space, you might want to try growing a few pots of potatoes on your decks or patios. So I've gathered up all the supplies I'm going to need today for planting up some potatoes in pots, including the container, which is a grow bag. I've also got the seed potatoes, and I've got some organic slow-release fertilizer for vegetables, and I've got some a mixture here basically of potting mix and compost, and it's about two-thirds potting mix, one-third compost. So we're gonna put this in the grow bag, and then we're gonna plant up our seed potatoes. So there's a lot of different kinds of grow bags and pots you can use. The only thing that's incredibly important really is that you have good drainage. So if you've got a plastic container or a wooden container you're using, make sure it has drainage on the bottom. So this grow bag has, well, holes in the bottom as you can see. So it's good to go in terms of drainage. And if I wanted to, I could poke even more. This type of material is very easy to plant in and to poke more holes for drainage. Of course, you can also use a fabric planter like a Smart Pot, which is also a good choice. Um, this is also kind of a fun potato container as well in that it has a pocket. I call this the potato steel and pocket because it opens up and as the potatoes grow, usually once potatoes have flowered, they've got some baby tubers you can start to steal as new potatoes. And that is often how I like to get our potatoes, as new potatoes. So once they've flowered, you can open that little pocket and start to sneak a few potatoes for your, your dinner. So let's fill this up with soil and we'll go from there. Okay, now before I put the potatoes in, I'm going to add my slow release organic vegetable fertilizer. And this is the, uh, I read the package, this is the uh, proper amount to add. I'm just gonna mix it around a little bit. And the organic fertilizers are nice too because they'll release their food slowly over the entire growing season. And this will really help encourage lots of tubers. All right, so that's done, it's time to plant. Let's grab some of these tubers and I'm using some smaller tubers. And the general rule of thumb is that if you have just two, three eyes per either piece of tuber or whole tuber, you're gonna get larger but fewer potatoes. But if you have a tuber or a piece of tuber that's got five or six eyes, you're gonna get more potatoes, but they will be smaller. So for me, I do want to have lots of little wonderful new potatoes to harvest because I'll be harvesting from this probably by midsummer. So I'm picking uh, smaller pieces with lots of eyes and they have started to sprout. And I'm going to plant four potatoes in uh, a bag like this, which is about 15 inches across. So I have four here, and I'll, after I plant these, I'll get, show you a picture of what it looks like so you can see what they look like all planted. There we go, all done. So as you can see, I've got my four seed potatoes planted on top of the six inches of potting soil compost mixture. And now it's time to cover these guys with a little bit more soil. So as I mentioned, there's about six inches of compost potting mix on the bottom, then the potatoes. And now I'm putting about two inches of compost potting mix on top. And once the plants sprout through and are probably four or five inches tall, I will add another couple of inches of potting mix and continue to do that until, well, it pretty much reaches the top of the bag. And then at that point, the potatoes can have this whole area inside to grow. Okay, so we are almost done. Maybe two more scoops and then I'll have enough to have that two inches in here. Perfect, okay. So we planted our potatoes in a compost potting mix mixture. We've added some slow release organic fertilizer. You know, uh, I think all we have to do now is water. And then these guys are gonna grow for us and we're gonna have an awesome harvest of Cree potatoes in the coming months. All right, thanks for tuning in. Have a good day and happy gardening.